Oh, that's bright, man. Just got our scale back. Let's see how much weight we've lost since we got down here. Whoop, whoop, 172, but I'm holding the camera, hold on. 168.8, yeah. Full body mirror coming in clutch. Now, I really think I look flat today, man. It's actually Saturday, so tonight is my cheat meal, which I'm gonna show you guys what my cheat meal looks like for the first time ever. Well, I mean, I've done it a lot in the past, but at least on this cut. Remember, I used to always complain about that? She's like gone. Dang. By the way, for the people commenting, saying they really want like these shoes, don't forget footlocker.com, finishline.com. You get on an order like dang or anything you want. They send you a pair of shoes, they don't fit, they have a return label in there, you just send them right back, get them until they fit. Pro tip, man. All right, cardio shirt. Ooh. Solid. One thing that I think is a key to getting shredded, for me at least, is my morning routine. Typically what I do is go do my cardio first thing in the morning fasted. I put one scoop of Final Boss Atomic Bomb Sickle Aminos with caffeine in my system. It's only 100 milligrams caffeine, so pretty light on the system, but kind of wakes you up, replaces your coffee. And then I get one scoop of greens. This is actually Final Boss Greens. These actually launch next Friday. So yeah, be on the lookout for that, man. Look at that package design too. That is sleek. Then I'm also drinking a lot of water. All right, let's go. So every morning when I wake up and do my cardio, I get to walk right by the pool area and this view is just like, I don't know, it does something for me. Check it out. Look at that, man. Bingo. Nice. We got this place all to ourselves. Heck yeah. One of the reasons I really wanted to move here was because of the fitness center. Now, does it have everything you need to get the ideal workout? Eh, not everything, but you can get the job done. Smith machine, cable machine, benches, medicine balls, dumbbells, kettlebells, cardio equipment, ton of machines I'll probably never use. And most importantly, the holy grail of cardio, they have a stair stepper that overlooks the pool, man. Game changer. Get him, Vegeta. Yeah, the prince, baby, the prince. Gotta keep your counters clean too as well. You never know when you're gonna have an unexpected guest. Hopefully it's a classy young broad and not the FBI or an alien abduction, I don't know. So at my last house, I like paid someone to clean it like once every couple weeks. But this one, I'm not gonna do that, man. It's crazy when you have like a nicer place or a newer place, how much it makes you wanna like keep it clean, you know? Shout out to all my dudes out there that actually clean and keep a nice place, man. I know it ain't easy, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Where's my candle gang at, baby? Shout out to all the men out there buying candles without feeling like a ninny. The smell is worth the rise in estrogen, I promise. And you never know when you're gonna have an unexpected guest. So after the gym, I actually came in, finished unpacking boxes, did all my client work, basically had everything done for the day, and it is only 10, 10, man. I woke up early today. I started waking up a little earlier, maybe a month ago, and what it does for my productivity is insane. I'm in bed early because I'm exhausted by the end of the day, but I'm sleeping better, I'm getting a lot more done, and it just frankly feels good. But with all that done, I'm gonna show you guys basically where my house is at right now. Apartment, I need to get used to saying apartment, not house. Nine year habit, I'm trying to break. Tougher than cigarettes, I heard. Sig. So let me show you the current work in progress. Come on. 
We got that bad boy wall mounted. Shout out to Ank. That dude is handier than a Catholic priest, man. He's good. We got it mounted here. And I actually did a, uh, check this mount out, man. You're looking at mounting your TV. This is like a swivel mount so I can like move it and like, you know what I mean? Depending on the viewing angle. Never know when we're gonna have company. Solo corner, the bed and breakfast. So yeah, you just kind of switch it up as you need it. Watch your nutrition podcast right now. I say listening while I'm working. And then we got all of our stuff set up. I am waiting to figure out what I want to do for like an entertainment stand here. I don't need it obviously for my TV, but I want it so I can hook the Nintendo Switch, the Xbox One X, and the PS4 Pro all up. Just have a place for them to sit and then set the sound bar on it with the subwoofer and then this will be done. So I've been looking at those, but I don't want to bite the bullet yet. I still need to go to a furniture store. So this is basically set up. I just need to get that there. And then this room looks way better now, man. I got everything out of the boxes and this is going to be where my computer sits. My desk should be here Monday. Triple monitor set up. We got the studio all set up and plugged in. We're going to do this corner because these like, I, I was going to soundproof all of this, but really it's not bad in here at all. Like you can't really hear anything. So I think just our like sound cage will work. But yeah, this is all pretty dope. Check this computer out, man. <sighs> Dope. And we just got this yesterday, baby. My pride and joy. Put it together. Matches the headphones. Boom, man. GTR racing gaming chair. Just an amazing piece of craftsmanship here. You really can't beat the fun you're gonna have with the GTR racing chair. And no, they did not sponsor this. I did take it for a couple laps around the living room and boy, she's fast. It's easy to lose control, but I'm telling you, if you just let it take you, it's so worth it. Just hold on for your dear life because this thing is going to take you for a spin, baby. And I ain't talking a rinse and wash cycle. So yeah, that's the chair. Pretty dope. Can't wait to I have a matching desk coming. So can't wait to match them up. And then in this corner, I'm going to make this like cause my gaming channel link in description, by the way, I'm going to build this into a music studio slash office slash streaming center too. So we also got an extra Xbox One X, PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch here with all the hookups. Just waiting to see how the desk fits so I can figure out where everything is going. And last but not least, check it out man for now this is gonna have to do figure that's you know that, that's cool for right there right just kind of hidden you know what i mean so if i have an unexpected guest the nerd flag ain't waving too heavy like a dog with the red lipstick you know but it's kind of tucked away you know and as they get to know me it all comes out all right guys i right, we, we gotta talk we gotta talk so if you remember in the last video, I had two of my cars shipped here. Now, we ran into a little bit of a problem. If you remember, my BMW i8 actually got shipped enclosed. If you're going to ship a car, that is what I recommend you do because I shipped my Range Rover open. If you look here, my i8 is actually like in a trailer, protected. My Range Rover was shipped on the top of the trailer, as you can see with how they loaded it. And when cars are transported that way, and maybe the drivers aren't competent, or maybe they're going through some rough areas, you have the potential to hit things or for things to hit your car like trees. I got my car back last night about two days later than they promised me. They kept having all these problems and these issues with like trailer getting stuck, things breaking down. And to be honest, the two guys weren't the most ha people I would trust with my vehicles, but it was two hours before I was leaving for here. And it was like, it was what I signed up for. I was like, all right, it is what it is. And I was trying to save money. But lo and behold, this is probably gonna end up costing me more than if I would have just shipped my range in clothes. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I got my car back last night. The guys hit me up around 9 p.m. and I was exhausted. I was on the couch already relaxing and I had to go meet them in a really dark parking lot. And I didn't really get to take a good look at my car before I picked it up. Um, they didn't have me sign anything. I didn't sign anything when I dropped it off or when I picked it up. So I don't even like know how any of this worked. The other guy was super professional with the i8 and I like signed everything. Super cool, texted me the whole time. These guys, I was half scared I wasn't even gonna get my car. But I didn't really get a chance to look at it. After I got back, Ank was helping me load up some of the stuff that I had in here take to my apartment. And that is when we noticed it. I'm gonna show you guys this and my heart literally like fell, I about threw up when I saw this, so. I'll show you. So this is the actual driver's side. And this is the first side I looked at and I didn't really see anything wrong with it. I looked and there was like, like right here's like a little chip or whatever, but like it wasn't anything that I thought was too crazy, right? And I was like, cool with it. And then I looked at everything and I started like examining and I was noticing here, hope you guys can see it. There's like these scratches right here, right? And those definitely weren't there before. But like, I was like, all right, that's not like too bad, whatever. Then I started looking and there's more scratches right here on the side. And I was like, what is going on? And then, 
then that big bad boy, that bad boy, and then I came around to here, and this is when it really got me. I know it's bright out, I hope you guys can see this, but there are scratches all over my car. Literally, right in the paint. Boom, boom, running down like the length of my car right there, right there, on the tail light. And then look at this one. This one literally runs down like the whole length of my car from here all the way down to here. All of this is like stripped right now with ch -ch 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 scratches all over it. And check out the top of this thing. Look at this, man. Those are scratches running down the roof of my car. Not that anybody really sees this, but still, like they are everywhere. Deep too, man. So this thing got hit by some trees while they were hauling it and they apparently just didn't care. And there's more scratches right there. Then on the front, we got another scratch right here. And yeah, I mean, I, I try not to look too close at it, but it definitely isn't in the same condition as when I dropped it off. So at this point, I really don't know what to do. I mean, it sucks, but at least it's nothing like too crazy. Now, I don't know anything about like how to get scratches out of cars or if I need to get this car repainted or if that's something that you can like buffer out. I literally don't know. So for those of you out there that have experience with this, like the car people out there or anybody that thinks like the best, most cost effective solution to get this paint back in good shape, comment it down below because I have no idea. So I would say overall, this move has been a 99% positive success rate and the 1% bad is my car. So I will say if you are going to ship a car, don't go for the cheapest option because I did and it is going to probably cost me that much money to get it fixed. So if you care about your car, you don't want any scratches, I would recommend going enclosed because this is what happens when it's on a big trailer and it gets hit with trees. Darn it, we almost had a perfect move. God darn it. Lucky for me, Google exists. So we're going to try something. Apparently, Apparently, I watched a video that says you can use toothpaste and a paper towel to get scratches out. So what's the worst that can happen? Let's find out. It's time for some science. We got paper towels, we got toothpaste, we got a power drill. Let's make some things happen. Now I'm no expert, but looking at this, it's not 100% gone, but it's definitely better. Who'd have thought, man, toothpaste. That explains all the bad teeth out there, man. They just been fixing cars. Who'd have thought? Let's try it on some more. It's doing something. But worst case scenario, even if this doesn't work, it's gonna have fresh breath. I mean, gotta look at the positives here. And one. Shit. My car is officially covered in toothpaste. I'm not sure if it worked or not, but doing something is better than doing nothing. Let's hope it works. Worst case scenario, let me know what you guys think the next step was. This was just a Google search, quick and easy. So you let me know. Look at this, man. You can see the toothpaste. Hold up. There we go. You can see, look at that, man. I tried to get all the scratches and we're gonna see if it works. And you know, some people might be upset that something like this will happen. But for me, man, I try to stay positive mindset all the time. Look look at the benefits. I mean, I got a title and thumbnail out of it. That's worth something. So today is my least favorite day to lift. Today is leg day. Woo. I always save leg day for my cheat meal days because I feel like I burn the most calories. I'm working the most muscles that day. And I feel like if I'm gonna have a cheat day, I better earn it, baby. So let's head to Alpha Leap and get it in.
And that is legs at Alpha Elite Gym. Hopefully those squats make this cheat meal taste better. Shit. All right, let's see if the toothpaste worked, man. We just went through the car wash. All right, and it looks worse. Definitely worse. I mean, that looks a little better, but still bad. Well, shit, man. Um, yeah, that didn't work. What's the next step? Do I take it to a body shop? Do I contact a dealer? If any of you guys know, let me know. And I'm gonna do that because, I mean, you can't really see it from a distance. Like up close, she ugly. All right, let's not let scratches bring us down because we got good news to celebrate. Good news number one, cheat meal is in like three hours. Good news number two, we got tickets to the Joker, man. If you've seen it and you like it, don't spoil it in the comment section, but let me know your thoughts on it. I'm gonna let you guys know after I watch it how it is. With no spoilers, you can't be spoiling stuff. You can't. Let's zoom that in. At this point, I've been fasting all day. All I've been doing is drinking water and then my BCAAs and then my greens in the morning. It's getting hard to talk. One thing I noticed though, when I checked my abs a second ago, I'm starting to see muscles from this cut that I've never seen before. Check this out. Got tie that do i look like a cheerleader all right this is how you know it's getting real look at that right there look at that i don't know if i've ever in my life seen these types of cuts before if i'm being completely honest so that's good news go away there we go the mood has been set i've been up since 4 30 i am fasted i am tired i'm gonna take a quick nap that way i have energy later and i can enjoy the movie 100 so Next time you see me, guys, it's gonna be cheat meal time. You ready? God, I know I am. I've been waiting. I try to do the mental math on the hours, but I, that, that ain't happening. But I've been waiting all week for this, so yeah. Let's go, baby. All right, guys, cheat meal time, man. I let them suggest a place, it's called Lupe Tortilla. It's basically like a, a Tex-Mex joint. So I got tacos and a lot of stuff coming. I'm gonna show you guys. Right now we're eating some nachos. How are they, bruh? Oh, so good. Good? I've waited all week. Am I gonna love this place or what? Double seal it, baby. Am I gonna love this place or what? What he said, double seal it. <laughs> all right, I don't know what this is, but I'm eating it anyways. I think it's pinto beans. I know I put these on meal plans. I just never eat them. <laughs> Grinding all week and not eating all day, so worth it, so worth it. Because now, since I haven't ate all day, I can really eat whatever I want, and ain't gonna do too much. Queso just arrived, man. See how it is, looks a little chunky, I don't know. Who am I kidding? Yeah? Yeah. I finished, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Do you should be out soon, all right? Course two, we got a chicken quesadilla with some guac and some pico de gallo. We're gonna give her a dry run. I mean, you can't beat the simplicity of a flour tortilla cheese and some good old meat, baby. You ain't beating that one. We build our own burrito, man. We got beef, guac, cheese, rice, beans on there. Look at that thing, man. Still sizzling. It's hot. Homemade tortilla, custom made burrito. Let's see how she do. Best Mexican Tex-Mex restaurant I've ever been to, hands down. Hands down? Word, what he said. Hands Word. <laughs> Word. One of the best cheat meals I've ever had, man. Everything tastes better in Texas. Yeehaw, buddy. Right? Woo. And the cool thing about that was, like, I don't feel like miserable fool. Like, if I go somewhere else and I eat a lot of, like, ice cream or just a lot of junk, man, I feel kind of crappy. But that was a lot of meat, a lot of rice, a lot of beans. Ideal cheat meal. But we're gonna go see Joker now. And you know I'm getting snacks, man. You know I'm getting snacks. I'm gonna put this up. I'm gonna try to grab some clips with my phone because I can't bring this in. Show you guys like what the rest of my cheat meal looks like, but I'm gonna be back. It'll be on fire stick here soon. <laughs> Slap it, bud. All right, man, let me shoot you straight. The Joker, a clever tale about the descent of one man into utter madness, a city that has failed him, a system that is corrupt, and one man rises above to fight the social injustices wrought upon Gotham. It was good, it was good. Wouldn't see it twice, definitely a slow burn, but it was good. If you saw it, comment below what you think. I mean, it was good, but I won't see it twice. It was actually pretty dang good. I ain't gonna see it twice. I enjoyed it, wouldn't watch it again. The selection of snacks at the movies wasn't the best I've ever seen, so I ended up with some cinnamon bites with a little icing, and I got 
peanut butter M&Ms. Ate all of that, along with a bottle of water. And then I just left Walmart. I got Chips Ahoy Thins right here. And I got a thing of almond milk in the fridge. I'm gonna have milk and cookies, why not? Got a Los Olas, not sure what it is, but the gas station had a $3 minimum. So, got some candy, got a Reese's, and then hold up. Now since dairy tends to like break me out and make me more bloated, try dairy-free ice cream. I don't know how it's gonna be. It's chocolate chip cookie dough. Um, yeah, might have a bite and throw it away, but you don't know unless you try. So that is gonna wrap up this video, guys. And I know some of you are probably watching, you're like, how and why is he eating all of this? And really, man, my strategy is, if I am perfect, and I mean perfect, six days out of the week, then I can have my seventh day where I kind of just do whatever I want and have all those foods that I'm craving, right? Where I think a lot of people mess up with cheat meals is that they're not really perfect all week, but they still want their cheat meal, right? Or they have like two a week or three a week. The thing is, right, I don't give myself a cheat meal unless I am perfect. And perfect means my diet is down to the T. And every one of my macros, I hit my protein, I didn't skip any meals, didn't skip any workouts, didn't skip any cardio session. If I wake up tomorrow and I feel like crap, I would do an extra cardio session on top of it to negate the damage. You gotta have responsibility with food, man. If you let yourself have this stuff all the time, did you earn it? What'd you do for it? That's what I ask myself. It's like, why would I go eat something like this if I didn't earn it? And for me, if I have a perfect week, then I think I earned it, right? I think the problem with a lot of people is that they reward themselves for no reason. If you didn't earn it, you shouldn't have it. At the end of the day, that's it, man. Set a goal for yourself. Achieve that goal. You don't gotta work out every day, but if you work out, even if it's three days a week with three cardio sessions and you're keeping your diet around 2,000 calories, you just do, just do that, right? And if you can do that every week, give yourself the cheat meal. If you can't do that, back to the drawing board, man. This is more of a mental game than it is anything. So I think I'm done rambling. Appreciate you guys, as always, for watching. Let me know about my car, man. That is stressing me the heck out. So let me know if you have any suggestions for that. And I think that is it, man. Thank you guys, as always. Smash those up, subscribe if you're not subscribed, hit that notification bell, and we are out of here. I will see y'all at the next video.